What's up everybody welcome to Simon Says Ride Today's topic is interesting Today I'm gonna talk about Are Royal Enfields good for touring? So let's find out Alright Let's get this bike started Uh So, before I start this video, I want to give you a brief background about this bike. Now, I've been riding this bike for past one year and uh, I've <laughs> like ridden it extensively through every kind of situation there can be for a motorcyclist. Now, I've taken this bike for a long tour, many long rides. Like, I took this bike to Goa when it was still brand new and... Um, I have gone to many weekend rides, long weekend rides, um, twisties, bad roads, everywhere. And I've been using this bike for my daily commute as well. So I've ridden it in rains, I've ridden it in really hot condition. So I can really sum it up for you guys whether a Royal Enfield is good for touring and what is it exactly good for also we'll see that later in this video and um, and also when i talk about royal enfields i'm gonna keep it a bit generic now there are quite a lot of royal enfields uh present in the market right now now this is the this is as basic as a royal enfield can get this is the most basic model of royal enfield it does not have any electric wizardry and it is a very very plain old classic motorbike so uh, uh, I'm gonna divide this discussion or divide this vlog into three sections uh, we're gonna put this bike into three section and see how well it uh, performs in each of these three, three sections uh, so number one is comfort so which is a very important thing number two is reliability and number three is uh, safety now talking about the first point that is comfort so basically all the Royal Enfields are very comfortable yeah except for the fact that uh, Continental GT which is definitely for a different kind of riding uh, which is more committed uh, but every other Royal Enfield you see in the market is a bit uh, towards the more uh, the comfortable side and uh, the reason for that is it does fall into the cruiser category even if you don't want it to <laughs> because yeah it does fall into that segment and it that's why it is kind of like all the Royal Enfields you talk about the bullets you talk about the classics and you also talk about the Thunderbird like Thunderbird is the most comfortable bike according to me in the Royal Enfield lineup and that's why these bikes are basically comfortable but when it comes to long rides now like talking about this particular bike now this bike is kind of common between the bullets and the classics uh, so I can say like at least for the classics and the bullets um, when you take these bikes for long ride and when when uh, if you are staying with the stock handlebar you might find it a bit uncomfortable uh, because uh, uh, the stock riding position you can say the more like the stock riding position with the stock everything like seat and handlebars uh, it is more like kind of upright position you get and uh, when it comes to long ride like when you have to ride around 600 to 700 kilometers in a day it's not that comfortable when you're sitting upright now I've, I've switched back to the stock handlebar because the custom handlebar which I had installed on the bike was broken uh, but um, if you ask me whether I would be ready to take this bike right now and do a 600 km long ride I would say no man because this handlebar is not that comfortable as a custom handlebar now when you have a custom handlebar or probably a bigger handlebar uh, you get into a more relaxing position yes you have to get used to that position a bit uh, but I would say that 
makes a more comfortable seating position for a longer rides yes for city rides this handle will suffice it has a much more comfortable sitting position as compared to any other bikes so i would say if you're planning to go for a long ride you probably might have to switch to a custom bigger handlebar or a wider handlebar if you're having the classic and the bullet models and talking about the seats the seats are very comfortable i never thought of uh, changing the seats um, because they are pretty comfortable for me but yes uh, there are lots and lots of options in the market um, for royal enfield uh, for custom seats like the bucket seats there are different kind of seats which kind of reduces height which kind of increases height so there are a lot of things which you can customize on a royal enfield now according to me royal enfield is probably the most customizable bike <clears throat> right now in indian market uh, so you can customize it according to your taste and the bike becomes really really very comfortable uh, like how you design it uh, so i think uh, uh, on the comfort section uh, this bike is an amazing bike you can probably do everything anything on this bike and uh, you can design is as you want it to take it for a long ride um but yes uh, in the stock condition it may not be that amazing uh, only talking about the bullets and the classics all right so moving on to the next section that is reliability now uh, reliability is one concept or like reliability is something which you need to have when you go for a long ride because uh, that gives you a peace of mind and like you can you can concentrate more on your riding and you can relax and enjoy the ride rather than thinking whether my bike will break down or not and uh, yes man real royal in fields they kind of suck in that area uh, like i can share my own experience uh, uh, with that happened with me while i was on my way to goa um like if you guys been following my channel you know what happened uh, the uh, connection to the battery came off and uh, i really had a very hard time keep on keeping on that connection uh, without having any tools uh, and um, like it was a tough time for me but i somehow managed somehow figured out what what the, uh, what the issue was um but that may not be the case with everyone man i mean if you kind of if something is broken which you cannot fix on the road uh it becomes a very difficult scenario man and uh, royal enfields do kind of lack that reliability uh, so it is a bit i mean i mean that's why i feel like royal enfields like talking about the older models it is kind of um, risky when you think about taking it out for a long ride uh, but but um royal enfields are really easy to uh, i mean mod uh, like work on like if you are uh, you have a good knowledge of how the bike functions and if you have the right spare parts and the right tools uh you can probably pretty much i mean fix anything you want on the bike um the second thing which also kind of falls into the reliability category is that the fact that uh, most of the royal enfields except for the thunderbird x everything uh, all the bikes still run on uh, the uh tube tires because all the wheels and the rims are spoke rims so we cannot run tubeless tires but yes there is a way to convert your tube tires into to or tube tire setup into a tubeless tire but it's still not very full proof solution so the big problem with this bikes are if you run into a puncture if you uh, have a flat tire uh you're going to have a real bad day man pushing this bike around is not a easy task and especially when you're on long rides uh, probably you will be having a lot of luggage and uh, you know imagine pushing your bike with uh, your bike loaded up with the luggage uh, with a flat tire man it's a very bad proposition and also uh, i have seen <laughs> like if you're on a high speed and suddenly your bike uh, your tire burst um like if it if it gets a puncture it is still better like you can uh, like 
pro like you gradually come to know about it but then if if the tire really bursts uh it is a very bad uh, experience i have seen uh tire bursts on a royal enfield or not only a royal enfield like basically any uh tubed tire um, the bike wobbles like anything and uh, it's a uh, man <laughs> it's a very bad experience so these are some things which comes into the reliability section uh talking about the royal enfields when you take it on for a long ride so um, be aware of that so this is one thing which i say that like uh, even when i took this bike uh, for my goa trip last year this was one thing which always ran into my head like if something breaks down because this bike has a lot of vibration uh, there are many parts which kind of gets loosened up and other stuff and also the um, uh the tires man the tires were a very big concern so these things were always running in back of my head um what was going to happen so uh, so uh, i mean talking about reliability it is look it's kind of a iffy situation like whether you should be taking out a royal enfield for a long ride or not but uh, like it's 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 like it's it's the thrill of a road trip right like your bike breaks down you fix it somehow it's it's always a good experience i mean if not it's really bad <laughs> but still uh all right coming on to the third section that is safety now as you guys are aware till date like yes the continental gt the twin 650 twins are on their way making into the indian markets which comes with abs and now the himalayan has also come with um, uh, abs as standard uh, but still um, when you talk about the uh, older versions like the one which i'm riding right now uh, we still do not have a good brake on these bikes like i don't have a disc brake on this bike like that is something to do with the fact that yes it is a traditional bike you Uh, they never thought of putting a disc brake on this bike so if you have a classic or a bullet uh, which still lacks uh, disc brakes or a disc brake at least at the rear uh, it is kind of risky because probably while you are touring because i have experienced that a, uh, that a lot like when you are touring you are probably riding at higher speeds and um, you do tend to get tired after riding for 6 7 hours and uh, the concentration level which you are having while after riding for 6 to 7 hours is very less as compared to when you're really fresh in the morning so there can be situations where you're not paying attention on the road you will have to and like you might have to brake really really um quickly and you want the bike to stop real quickly and that won't happen on these bikes i mean the bike the, the brakes um really bad but then of course it comes with a lot of practice now i am kind of used to this bike i know like when do i have to brake to make this bike stop at a particular position a particular distance so those kind of things like it it does have to be i mean like you can learn that only after experience now when i was really new to this bike i had a lot of issues now this bike didn't have a electric start i uh, like when i took it to the um last year's india bike week i didn't even know how to kick start this bike properly i used to struggle a lot and then uh yeah man so, but then over time i learned those things i need, i i kind of know how to ride this bike i have to ride this bike in corners um the when the weight comes into the picture and have to break this uh, brake whenever it is really urgent and um, how to kick start the bike now i i like i kick start this bike like usually with one kick now after knowing everything like previously it used to be at least 10 kicks so that's the kind of experience you gain after this bikes because these bikes are really really different as compared to any other bike in the market so you got to get to used you got to get used to all these bikes and like um, probably the bike uh, the um, royal enfield which do not have electric start so yeah safety wise uh man i cannot say i cannot 
um, see that these bikes are very safe because yes of course it lacks the technology it lacks a uh, lot of things when it comes to safety as well as reliability um, so uh, summing it up when it comes to like uh, whether you would uh, suggest somebody to uh, go on long rides on the Royal Enfield well I would say you can but then of course you will have to take a lot of precautionary um, things in your like you have to kind of take a lot of precautions as compared to any other modern bike when you're taking this kind of bike on to a long ride like that is applicable to any classic bike right like if you if you're riding a very old bike you probably have to take a lot of precautions you will have to have um, like at least a puncture kit you need to know how to remove your tires and get your bike punctured uh, the puncture patched up uh, you should know how to connect your clutch cables you should be having extra clutch cables wire accelerator cables and your brake cables um, you should know how to tighten your brake you should know how to maintain your chain uh, you should know other things like how your electric supply runs into the bike um, how to remove the carburetor clean it uh, so there are so many things which you should be aware of and if you know all those things i think you can easily take this bike uh, for a long ride for your um, road trip because these bikes are really fun to ride um, like yes people say like it vibrates a lot it does uh, things like this and like that now I, I, like but the, it's the feeling which you get riding these bikes it's really amazing now i've been riding this bike for almost one year i have ridden different kinds of bike i have ridden a ktm rc 200 which i still have which is a completely different bike as compared to this uh, it's got a lot of technology if uh, well not the everything not every technology but still it's got enough technology uh, but then yeah man i'm uh, i would say mm, uh, like if you really want to be carefree with your long ride experience with your road trip experience go for any other bike but royal enfield but if you want to have a full experience of uh, going through hard patches of road uh, and fixing your bike and having a good feel you can stick to a royal enfield you will have a lot of fun on this bike but yes when if, uh, if it comes to carefree riding like you just want to enjoy a ride you're not much into like maintaining the bike um, like road trips are really rare in your life then probably stick to some other bike which will give you a very relaxed and a more stress-free um, experience of the road trip so finally where does this bikes really thrive like where do you think that where do i think that royal enfields are really best suited after uh, speaking about the ro road trips now i would say royal enfields right now are a very great or an amazing daily commuters now i've been riding this bike uh, pretty much every day to work and i know these bikes are really amazing when it comes to city traffic it does not heats up that much i mean everybody thinks that this bike must be must get heated up so much but it's not the case uh, and um, the mileage is really amazing like um, now now th this is another myth man everybody thinks that royal enfields they give really poor mileage now that was true for the older versions now the versions which were at least 10 to 12 years old uh, which had that cast iron engine which was completely different as compared to the uc engines which the bikes run right now uh, that was true for them but right now this 350 cc gives at least 40 kilometers per liter which is very good as compared to any other i mean 250 or 150 or like there are many other 200 like even my ktm does not give that much mileage but this bike does i mean that is a fact i, I know you guys must be thinking oh man ye to jhoot bol raha but no it really gives a very good mileage this bike if you ride it properly so 
so that's where these bikes are thriving right now that's why you see so many royal enfields on the road right now because they are an amazing daily commutes and commuters and uh, it does make your commute really easy and inside the city you can easily find somebody who can fix your bike like <laughs> like i'm not saying that these bikes break down very often now that again is a myth now i've been riding this bike for last one year the only time i used to take this bike to the shop is if, if i wanted to customize something like i've been um I, I i've installed a lot of exhaust different exhaust on the bike i have installed different handlebars i've installed auxiliary lights back wheels different kind of things on the bike and those were the times where i used to take this bike to really get something fixed up but other than that i don't think that there was any major issue except for the one which i faced in goa where the wire came off from the battery terminal i don't think the bike ever broke down man i've been riding this pretty much every single day and i've ridden it uh, long distances short distances traffic rains but this bike never broke down so again uh that again is a kind of a myth uh anyway guys um this is what i had to say about this video so it's up to you if you are really into biking if you know your bike well you can take pretty much any bike for a long ride but if you feel that you want to have a comfortable ride you don't want to um want to know all those things you don't want to carry a lot of stuff you just want to have fun while riding uh pick up any other modern bike and you will be set so i hope this was informative um leave your comments down in the comment section and let me know what other videos would you like to watch in my channel well this is your host simon signing off until the next ride